super super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're gonna be you know doing something different i always do reviews and commentary telling about everything that happened during the movies tv shows you know and so on and so on but this time i wanted to do something different and the reason is because this movie i know a lot of people have watched it a lot of people know about it so i don't feel like you know me going by and talking you know giving like the full review regarding it. it's appropriate in this case so i will just be giving my personal point of view regarding this movie because i feel like it's gonna be very educational because this movie is very interesting like the topic the plot everything about it is very interesting and i just wanted to give my personal view regarding it but before we get into more details guys please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments regarding this movie and what would you personally rate it one to ten me i will personally rate it a ten out of a ten because this movie you know um actually sends out a very very strong message when it comes to love when it comes to you depending on someone else and also about you know you giving yourself to someone who knows that you love them but you know they also have their best interests in heart very very complicated but we will get into more details regarding that please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and let's get right into it so lost in delirious is a 2021 canadian drama film uh, it's actually based on a novel and lost in delirious is told from the perspective of mary who observes the changing love between the two teenagers friends in this case Polly and tori so that's where everything develops so basically what happens like i already said that the three ended up you know being roomies in the in the boarding school so that's where everything starts uh, like I already said, I'm not going to be giving like the full details we got in the movie. I just want to give my personal point of view. So this is my personal point of view. So basically what happened during the movie is that basically you can see that Polly is very, very dependable on Tori and Tori knows that. And not only that, if you see the movie, you can see that Polly suffers from abandonment issues and trauma because of her mother, because her just a... a a quick run back her mother actually abandoned her when she was a kid and she tried to reach out to you know to locate to locate her biological mother but when the responses got back her biological mother was identified but she her biological mother actually told her that you know she doesn't want to be found and she doesn't want to have any type of connection with Polly and Polly she feels very very alone so she when she has this relationship with Tori what's and end up happening is that the Tori ends up being the only person that she has in her life the only person that she can you know be around love and give love and affection to because she suffered from a lot of trauma growing up because of her whole personal life situation but tori on the other hand she really really loves Polly, but she knows that her parents will never accept her you know being in love with you know with another woman and she actually told that to the to you know to the other roomie they actually told her like I love, you know, Polly. I want to be both with Polly, but the thing is that I don't want to lose my parents. I want my parents to be in my life. And so basically what she was trying to tell is that I have to make a decision and I have to make a choice and I choose my parents over Polly. And because her parents is very, very, you know, religious people and they don't, you know, they don't play with that. So after that, you know, Tori actually already had her own mind up. She was already like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And she actually told, spoke to the head, to the other room and was like, hey, you know, Paul is gonna need you right now a lot. So be strong. You know, she's you gonna be the, you know, the shoulder that she's gonna, you know, that she's gonna that she's gonna need once i break the news to her and that's exactly what happened but after that the thing that i really really didn't like is the fact that you know paul uh, Polly was going through her emotions she was anger she was just losing losing herself and on the other hand tori was was actually already hooking up with someone and making it obvious into into Polly's face that is one thing that I really really didn't like because if you know someone is suffering and she's trying to do everything to get you back to convince you that you guys can do this together then why would you go ahead and hook up with someone else in her face knowing that she has problems dealing with pain you know so that was something that I really have to blame also Tori for and, and you know because if you knew 
that she's that type of person that why would you play your cards like that you already broke her heart like you already told her you know that he ain't gonna like what what you guys had is over this girl is trying everything to get you back you guys live in the same room so if you're gonna be you know going out do your thing at least do it respectfully you know so you don't, you don't hurt the person who you already hurt and who's still trying to get you back you know so after that unfortunately you know it was too much for Polly to handle finding out her mom doesn't want to see her and then losing Tori school she wasn't doing good she was getting to a lot of altercation she was just losing herself and she ends up taking her life away because she felt like that was the only way for her to get through you know her own freedom and also and, and to take the pressure off her and also to take the pain away she thought that there was the way of doing it and she ended up doing it and of course Tori was so super super heartbroken because she didn't expect Polly to do that she knew that Polly had problems and she needed you know uh help you know professional help in order to get herself mentally uh strong but she didn't know it was a like to that extent for her to decide to do that you know so also Tori felt a little bit guilty about it you know but I just felt like Tori should have been there for her more not only oh not only like on a romantic side but also as a friend you know like be like okay i know how she is i know what she goes through i know what happened with her and her mom so let me you know even though we're not together romantically let me at least try to pursue a friendship with her at least i know even though i know it will be difficult because she won't accept it but le let me at least try maybe it will work you know and you know and just be on a on a better page with one another but that didn't happen you know and i'm just very very you know sad that Polly had to go out that way that that had to happen to her and the teacher was also trying to get her help and tell her like um I know someone that can help you but of course Polly she was in denial she was like I don't need help just because I'm different from everybody else doesn't mean that I need help and all of that so she just had her own ways of dealing with pain and dealing with everything that she was going through and of course Tori she was you know of course living her life hooking up with, you know with her boyfriend apparently like she was in a relationship already with you now dating someone else like putting it all in Tori's face and then just making it obvious that uh, like Polly is the one who wants her and she doesn't want Polly. That Polly is the one who actually pursues her and like wants to be with her. And she's always telling her no, just making like Polly like the bad guy of the story, you know, like the one that's over overacting on her emotions that's one thing that i really have to blame Tori about so yes guys that's my personal opinion regarding this movie i would definitely like to hear your personal opinion regarding this movie as well because i really feel like even though Tori is not the one to blame for the decision that Polly have decided to make but i still feel like Tori has some part of blame in it you know because there is better way who how she could have handled the situation you know and not making Tori feel like a less of a person for loving her openly you know so yes guys that's just my personal opinion like i already said let me know your personal opinion please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and today like i already said i have decided to do something different because i know this is a classic movie and a lot of people have already watched it but i just wanted to give my personal my personal point of view regarding it so yes guys that's basically it thank you thank you so much for all the love and all the support i see you guys again at the next video and goodbye